Greetings family, welcome to another reasoning with seasoning, yeah? Today, I would like to reason upon this book, the book of Enoch the Ethiopian, as it says right here, greater than Abraham, holier than Moses, the first perfect human being, okay? Um, here's a depiction of Enoch on the back right there. Now, I've been wanting to reason on this book for some time. Um, I did want to reason on chapter 9, the fragrant trees, but we're going to get to that in a future video because I've found something quite relevant, you know what I mean, to start upon when we're dealing with the book of Enoch right now in 2020, yeah? Um, so we're going to deal right now, you know, we know that there's a lot of things going on all over the world and Enoch basically, the book of Enoch, Enoch is a prophet from the ancient times, thousands of years ago and basically Enoch is claiming in this book here, in his ancient writings, that angels and watchers came and you know took him and showed him many things and many secrets and many mysteries of the universe you know um so enoch has prophesied many things and you know he speaks about things like weapons of mass destruction you know which couldn't have possibly existed in the time of enoch you know so enoch is basically telling us that has been to this time and even further you know and he's written this book as a warning and given it to your children and that's why it's been taken out of the bible the king james bible the european bible the translations the only bible that still exists in as far as i know is the amharic bible and the Giz bible in ethiopia yeah um the book of Hanok. you know what i mean so basically right now i'm just checking out chapter 19 the prophecy of the 10 weeks so enoch is giving a prophecy yeah um Throughout his book, he prophesizes 10 weeks of things that the angels show him coming from the first week, um, you know, from the Ice Age, you know, 16,000 BC, the time of Enoch. We're coming up all the way through second week, third week, bam, bam, you know. By the fifth week, we're in the house of King Solomon, yeah. By the sixth week, we're dealing with Jesus Christos, yeah. Um, by the seventh week now, which is Matthias 100 AD until unknown, we're dealing with an apostate generation who accomplish many deeds now apostate to me that reminds me of the word apostle and we know apostle is a follower of the righteous way follower of the most high you know um so the apostate generation you know achieving many deeds which then leads to the second end or out of that out of the second end the judgment of fire comes the apostate generation you know and then it goes on to the eighth week, a sword of righteousness, the ninth week, and so on. But we're going to stick with the seventh week and the eighth week right now I want to talk about, yeah? Um, the second end, the judgment of fire. I can, I can speculate that that's happening right now on Earth, yeah? 2020. Um, June 2020, to be precise. July 2020, to be precise. You know, the last couple months. And just generally these years and this time, this frame of time and space, this time and space frame, I can't say now in 2020 because it's the whole period of this event. But right now, like I've said in a previous reasoning, we're going through the ascension time. And I've, I'm pleased because Enoch himself speaks here about ascension and I found it and that's why I thought it's relevant to bring it, you know, from the ancient text. Um, so... Enoch is talking about the weeks and he talks about the seventh week when an apostate generation will arise, you know? Um, okay, and in this, sorry, I may have been incorrect what I said a minute ago because it says in this generation when iniquity and sin and blasphemy and wrong and all kinds of evil deeds increase and when apostasy, wickedness and uncleanliness increase, a great punishment will come from heaven upon all these. So I may have been wrong in my description of apostate, you know what I mean? Um, so what I was talking about week seven is actually happening in the eighth week. And one of the questions we have to ask ourselves, how long are these weeks that Enoch is referring to? Because some of them are lasting thousands of years, okay? Um, the power has just come back on. The electric has come back on here in Ethiopia. Big up, great news. Um, all right. It's sometimes good to disconnect still, otherwise I wouldn't have been reading this book all day. You get me? The mistakes. Um, let me continue here, yeah? So, we're in, you know, the seventh week of the ten weeks that Enoch has prophesied, okay? And, um, you know, he says that in those days, hear this now, wrongdoing will be cut off at its roots 
and the roots of iniquity together with deceit will be destroyed from under heaven, which is here on earth, yeah? And hear this now. All the idols of the nations will be given up, their towers will be burnt in fire, and they will remove them from the whole earth. Now look at what is going on with these colonial statues, these idols and icons of their power, of the Babylonian colonialization power, yeah? They will be thrown down into the judgment fire and will be destroyed in anger in the severe judgment that is forever, okay? And the righteous will rise from sleep and wisdom will rise and will be given to them. Now, look how many people right now are waking up all over the earth, even to see that these statues are being pulled down. I saw that one was pulled down in Bristol was the first one that sparked all this off in England. Now, me, I would have never expected the English people to come together and pull down a colonial statue. So look how many people are waking up all over the world. And look how many things are surfacing online. People that you would never expect to come with certain reasonings. You know, big up the grandmothers them. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can hear the thunder. You know what I mean? Outside. Now, let me continue. A lot of people are waking up right now, yeah? The righteous will rise from sleep. And wisdom will rise and will be given to them. Now, I want to big up my Adrian, um, who said to me, you know, that this is the time in which your children are coming together, in which the most I are bringing I and I together. Now, that hit a note with I as well, because this is the time that I and I are being brought together through the universal powers, you know, crossing paths with ones and ones through the mystic ways and revelation and realising that them ones might be on the same team, you know what I mean, of cosmic energy bringers, you know what I mean? Let me continue right here. Let me add in you, yeah? So the, the righteous have risen from the sleep, you know, and wisdom will be given to them. And at this time, the roots of iniquity will be cut off and the sword will destroy the sinners. The blasphemers will be cut off in every place. Blasphemy will be destroyed by the sword. Okay, now, this is the ascension time, as far as I am and I'm concerned that we are talking about, because this particular part has not happened yet. Enoch has talked all the way up to this, and this is supposed to be happening in the future. But remember, this book was published years ago. So, for Iron Man, this is now, yeah? Because the ascension time, the blasphemy, the blasphemers being destroyed from the face of the earth, and the righteous order being restored, the mockers being destroyed from the face of the earth, and the righteous order being restored. So, that's what we're talking about in the ascension time, the righteous order of love, yeah? So, don't be afraid. You know what I mean? By the word righteous or by some of the terminology that we're using, you know, because it's important. And some of these terms, you know, like righteousness and this, we've been conditioned to um, connect it to like religion and these things. But righteousness is, you know, something much more than that. But we're not going to get into that in this reasoning. That's for ones to research and check out. Maybe in the next reasoning, we'll deal with righteousness alone. You know what I mean? So we're dealing with the ascension time into the righteousness, into the new day of righteousness, the righteous revelation. Yeah, scary words for some, but don't be afraid of them because we ain't talking about religious thing. We're talking about, you know, cosmic energy and spiritual connection that connects all of our humanity together. You know, OK, so let's forward on. Enoch the prophet, yeah, Enoch the Ethiopian says in the eighth week there will be. There will be another week, the eighth week, that of righteousness, yeah? And a sword will be given to it so that the righteous judgment may be executed on those who do wrong and the sinners will be handed over into the hands of the righteous. Now, I've seen that, you know, as we're talking about your children rising up and waking up, there's a lot of world leaders that are being called out on some of the wrongs that they have been, you know, carrying out on this earth. Some of them have even been called to, you know, federal court, and all these kind of things. So the sinners will be handed over into the hands of the righteous. Reminded me of a writing as well by Akala talking about, um, you know, when these leaders are handed into the hands of the righteous, what should be their judgment according to the righteous children? You know, how should I and I judge those, you know, who have wronged humanity in such a way? You know what I mean? Should we practice forgiveness or should we make sure they cannot practice their ways again questions to be asked but anyway we're dealing with the book of Enoch right now from the ancient days okay um Enoch goes on to say 
that at the end of the eighth week, the righteous will acquire houses because of their righteousness, house with a capital H, and a house will be built for the great king in glory forever. Yeah. And after this, there will be a ninth week in which the righteous judgment will be revealed to the whole world and all the deeds of the impious will vanish from the whole earth and the world will be written down for destruction and all men will look to the path of uprightness. Now, for Ayman, all men will look to the path of uprightness because the world will be written down for destruction. We have these wars and rumours of war and we have these, you know, ideas about global warming and the earth in a dread state and all these kind of things. And for Ayman, it seems like man will have no choice but to look to the path of uprightness or to perish. You know, as we talked about in the previous reasoning, the ascension of the vibration, the ascension of the frequency of the spirit and of the whole earth and of the whole universe, you know, can only be achieved by looking to the path of uprightness. So if ones are not willing to look to the path of uprightness, them and their weak heart conceptions will have to perish. Yeah. And that is for Iron Man, where I believe it says here, the world will be written down for destruction and all men will look to the path of uprightness. Okay. We're dealing with chapter 19, Book of Enoch. Prophecy of the Ten Weeks, okay? At this time, there will be many weeks without number forever in goodness and righteousness. So Enoch simply affirming and confirming, you know, that and I do not need to worry because everything will happen at its time, as it has been prophesied to happen, yeah? And he even says right here a little earlier on in the same chapter, Let not your spirit be saddened by the times, for the Holy and Great One has appointed days for all things. And the righteous man will rise from sleep and will arise and will walk in the path of righteousness. And all his paths and his journeys will be in eternal goodness and mercy. He will show mercy to the righteous man and to give him eternal uprightness and to give him power. And he will live in goodness and righteousness and will walk in eternal light. Yeah? And sin will be destroyed in darkness forever. And from that day will never again be seen. So this is again the ascension that we're talking about, the upliftment of the frequency because the frequency of the sea... The word deceit was even in here somewhere. The frequency of deceit and wickedness has to be abolished from the earth. And that is what is happening now naturally. Yeah. As things are being revealed. As ones and ones are waking up to certain truths. And we're soon going to see a new order. But not their order. Not their world order. You know. But the new righteous revelation. Because remember we spoke about the fact that the new earth is not going to fall from the sky. And physically drop on this earth or something like that. You know like some people have been speculating Enoch even says you hear you know Enoch never talks about a, a new physical earth dropping down but he talks about the cleansing of this earth of the wickedness from this earth right here you know Enoch even mentions here you know how could there be anyone who could understand the works of heaven and see a soul or a spirit so Enoch is telling us that he has seen a soul and seen a spirit and we were talking about you know the energy and the soul frequency previously and how could one ascend and see all their ends and comprehend them or make anything like them? Is there any man who could know the length and breadth of the earth and, her, and who has and to whom has all its measurements been shown? Yeah, the word ascend right there from Enoch. The Ethiopian, greater than Abraham, holier than Moses, the first perfect human being. Family, we've been reasoning briefly on chapter 19, yeah, prophecy of the 10 weeks. If anybody has anything to add to the reasoning, if there are any other you know, ones and ones that are studying the book of Enoch right now, please do get in touch and drop your reasoning, you know what I mean, reasoning with seasoning, and um, we're just sharing knowledge, you know what I mean, we're just sharing our revelations and research with ones and ones and bouncing around the energy of knowledge and, you know what I mean, giving thanks for the revelation time, so we're dealing with the ascension time, we're dealing with Enoch and the prophecy of the 10 weeks, yeah, give thanks, and what do I want to say? We could talk more about the ten, the, the 10 weeks. In fact, maybe we will do a part two of the video. Um, because we still have the ninth week where the righteous judgment is revealed. Okay, we've talked about that. We have the 10th week where all the powers of heaven shine forever, which is the new earth. So we've covered it. The prophecy of the 10 weeks, the book of Enoch. Yeah, check it out. More reasoning to follow. We're going to be reasoning on chapter nine, the fragrant trees and many more chapters, you know. So we give thanks. It's a meditation. Bless.